Hi everyone, welcome to a new episode of the Teardown at Tomorrow Lab. Uh, we have a very special guest today. Our friend Grace is joining us. Hey Grace. Hello, hello. How are you guys? Good. Grace, tell us what you're working on right now. Okay, I am the founder of a nonprofit called Project Sahai. And Sahai means sun in the language of Tigrinya. Where's Tigrinya? Eritrea. Oh. That's where it's spoken. So basically what we do is provide clean energy solutions to communities that don't have power. Yeah. What we're doing this year okay. is powering a school in Tanzania, in Arusha. So we're working with a local company there to set up the solar panels on the actual school. Hmm. And then the lovely and so gracious company of Empowered has decided to donate solar inflatable lights to the students of the school. So I can go to school, I've got power at school, we can run computer labs, all yep. sorts of things like that, and then when I go home, I have one of these lights, so even if my house isn't powered, I can read. Exactly. That seems really important. Very. Very That's much. amazing. But yeah. what are you most curious about? Okay, well, so I want to learn everything. I want to learn how the solar panel works, I want to learn exactly how the current flows through the system. Yes. Um, I want to learn what the material is called and why it works in the way it works. Okay. So like, uh, let's tear this down. All right. <laughs> All right, so we've got these things apart. Um, so first things first, there is this big PCB. It's got a solar panel on it. It's got a battery in it. This was assembled into this tray here, um, which is basically a reflector. It looks like it's metal, but it's just a painted it, plastic. Yeah, it's a, it's a PET-like material, thermoformed, okay. uh, and it's uh, sprayed or uh, otherwise metallized. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and that gives it a nice reflector. My guess is that this is one module, this like crispy PET thing here, this here, and this were all sealed together as one piece. Mm -hmm. And then they welded that to uh, this uh, PVC case here. And I think this is <laughs> welded to that side. And then you have a full inflatable lamp structure. That's really nice. This is so cool. I've never looked inside of any of the products that we've donated to the community. So I've never looked inside most products actually that I've purchased or, <laughs> or used. So this is amazing. Is there anything you immediately recognize or anything where yeah, you're man, like- Yeah, man, this is like grade six science when I used to draw the little like circuits and like the positive and negative and the battery goes here and that's about it that I recognize. <laughs> so these were the two modules inside. They have a really similar construction, right? It's the same switches, they have the same three LEDs. And then on the back side, there's a difference in batteries. So um, both are rechargeable, of course, um, but you have a sort of a, a prismatic lithium polymer cell here and a cylindrical cell here. These tend to be a little cheaper. Um, they have a slightly higher energy density, which is nice. Uh, this one you can get really flat, which is great for right. packing and camping and things like this. This right. one has like a thickness to it. It's also covered in tape. Um, and the reason why they have this foam block here is so that when you collapse it, it doesn't sit uh, like that. It's, got it. it's flat. Yeah. I did notice between the two, um, like this one had a very narrow tray, mm -hmm. or uh, we call this the reflector, whereas that one had a deeper reflector. That's right. Yeah. And the main reason is because of the battery, oh, right? right? And then this like little that. circuit here. Um, <laughs> it's interesting. This one has like a more complex circuit, I think, because it's doing more modes. So I'm not really sure. circuits. Oh yeah, so circuits. <laughs> circuits. So circuits. So circuits. So we we've got the solar panel on top, and then we've got the uh, the battery, which is storing the power that the solar panel is creating. But then you need to do something with that because we want to be able to control light levels, <clears throat> light patterns, a red light versus a white light. So and you, we need to charge the battery. Oh, too, right, right, absolutely. Right. So to do that, we have uh, an integrated circuit or an IC, and that's these things here. The little... They're like the masterminds. They're yeah. like the masterminds. The masterminds. It's, it's the computer. Too. Yeah, it's the computer. <laughs> so when you push the buttons, yeah. it lets charge flow from the battery into the lights, yeah. right. might cause it to flash. And then it's also doing something uh, where when light's hitting this, it's powering this battery and right. allowing it to charge. Uh, something interesting to note is a panel of this size is going to have a low voltage so like call it like a half a volt, mm. but a battery like this is gonna be three, 3.2, 3.7 volts, right? Mm -hmm. And so you can't charge a larger voltage with a lower voltage unless you boost it. And so these things usually allow some kind of trickle charging that allows you to boost that voltage up oh. to fill the tank. So maybe we should figure out or tell the people how the panel actually works. That is a great idea. 
For that, we have an iPad. <laughs> Here's the sun and we have your solar panel here. The basic construction is the, of the solar panel is that there are really three layers. Um, one is a negative electrode or the cathode. Number two is the positive electrode or the, uh, the anode. And then in between is a very important layer, which is this NP junction. When this light comes in, it actually knocks electrons free from the lower portion, the positive electrode. And as those flow up into the negative portion and across that NP junction, it basically creates a, a, what's called a voltage potential. Um, a voltage potential is basically what makes anything move or go. That is what creates a voltage. When you turn on a light bulb, there's a, a, a voltage potential that's um, uh, between those, and that induces a current to flow. And what we can do is we can attach a battery and or many LEDs to that, and as the electric current flows, um, we, have a, uh, we can turn on a light. Amazing. Right? Cool. The light comes in. You free up uh, electrons. You free up electrons, you which is which is very special. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's kind of like the special sauce in this is that right. they're, they've selected a material that has um, uh, particles or atoms that have um, valence electrons that are free and are able to be released and energized so that they can go somewhere. And when they go somewhere, that is the the electrification portion right, when you want. Right, because you said the panel's low voltage versus the battery that's higher voltage, so you need a storage system. Exactly. Yeah. And then they solve that in a couple different ways, um, like those big panels you see out in the field or that you're putting on the tops of schools and hospitals, those, by linking these in series, you can get higher and higher voltages. Um, in our case, it's very low voltage because we have just one panel. We're gonna send you back with these like slightly <laughs> broken things, they but still they still work. work. Yeah. They're fine. probably not as waterproof uh, yeah. as they were. But at least we know how they work and yeah. we know how effective and impactful they are across the world. So thank you guys. Awesome. Thank you. And thanks everyone for watching. Please like and subscribe below. Leave comments, uh, reach out on any form of social and uh, tell us what to tear down next. People are probably going to want to know how they can contribute to your project um, yeah. and how to follow along. So yeah, well you can first and foremost follow us at Projects Ahai. Um, email us if you want to volunteer. We have tons of positions at events and throughout the year we need a lot of hands. Um, and then if you have anybody or anyone that wants to work internationally, give us an email. Bye. Yeah, I think a part of like renewable energy and clean energy um, is intimidating to a lot of, you know, mm -hmm. regular people and they do a great job of making it very relatable, super cool, um, and you can use it everywhere. And that's kind of what we do at PJT, where we're just trying to make this more relatable to the common person, to the professor, to anyone in between, you know, so mm -hmm. that this isn't just about one specific type of person, this is about the globe coming mm -hmm. together and like working on this clean, super cool future for us and our kids. Yay. Well, thank you for doing that. Thank you. Yeah. All right, guys. That was, this is great. This is fun. Right, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Lot of fun. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. I hope this Good works job, out. Everyone. I hope you guys have some material. Uh, there's definitely right. something in there. Um, thank you. This is awesome. I want to tear down more things.